Hey YouTube, this is Jaden Storm coming at you with another deck profile from another deck updated from Set 13 Catastrophic Outbreak. And this is going to be my version of Reverse Dyusha. Um, now, as you know, my friend Christian is the Dayu main Dayusha player on my team, and that stands still to this day. I just build the deck just because I like the deck and I'd like to have it myself, and I can play it in casual play and just play around for a little bit. Now, I want to say this before I show you my, excuse me, my deck profile of it. Mine is built in the complete opposite direction that Christian would build his. I built this literally just because I thought it was the most consistent way to abuse it to the way I play. Um, and it was just to see the deck from another angle. It may not be the best way to play the deck, but it is a deck that I have tested, and I do find it to be good. Um, so let's just jump right into it, and I'll explain my choices. So starting off with the grade zeros, my starter is not Goyusha. It is Dimensional Robo Dimagnum. It is the new starter from Set 13 Catastrophic Outbreak. Um, its ability is pretty simple. Uh, it is a it's a forerunner, so he slides out. His ability is put this unit into your soul and select one of your dimensional police. Oh, choose your dimensional police. You basically just put it back in the soul, and your vanguard receives plus four thousand power. Um, so it's literally there just for when I want to give my Vanguard that little extra boost or to ac have access to an ability. Um, I literally just went um, with this because I wanted to see how it playtested, and it playtested very well. For my triggers, I'm playing four copies of Dimensional Robo Die Battles and two copies of Demon Eye Monster Gorgon, the new crit from Set 13, for six crit. And then for the rest, I'm playing four copies of Dimensional Robo Die Crane. And two copies of Army Penguin for six draw triggers. And then four copies of Dimensional Robo Go Rescue. So uh, six, six crit, four draw, and four heal trigger. Grade ones. We play four copies of Dimensional Robo Die Shield. This is the new Dimensional Police uh, Vanguard from Set 13. I love the artwork a lot better than I did on Diamond Ace. Um, we have four copies of Dimensional Robo Go Cannon, another card from Set 13 that is brand new. His ability is Rear Guard. Put this unit into your soul and choose one of your other Rear Guards with Dimensional Robo and its card name and put it into your soul. Choose your Vanguard with Dyusha and its card name and that unit gets plus one critical until the end of turn. So this helps you get extra crits on your Vanguard and it can help you get that card into your soul that you want into your soul. Maybe it's a copy of Dyusha, uh, maybe it's a... Maybe you're doing it just to gain the crit. It's just it's just a utility card. Um, so I play four of it. And it's still a good 6k boost. I play four copies of Dimensional Robo Die Tiger. This uh, unit is our 10k attacker for D-Robos. Whenever we have a D-Robo Vanguard, which we'll, you'll always will in this case, when he's in the front row and he swings, he gains plus three, making him a 10k attacker. So very good in the late game, or if you need a good solid 7k boost, he serves that purpose too. And then for the last grade ones, I play two copies of Dimensional Robo Die Mariner. Its ability is, is if it's in the soul, you may soul blast it, and your Vanguard receives plus 3,000 power. Grade twos. We play four copies of Dimensional Robo Die Dragon. This card um, is our 12k attacker, and I have the uh, double rare versions from set 8. Really glad I have those. Uh, his ability is, is when he attacks a Vanguard, he gains plus 3, making him 12k attacker. So, pretty simple. Um, now, one of the new cards from uh, set uh, 13 is four copies of Dimensional Robo Die Heart. Now, before you call me an idiot and hear me out, again... I built this deck literally just to test it and to make it as consistent and as threatening as possible. Now, first let me read to you Die Hard's skill. His ability is Vanguard only. At the beginning of your attack step, if this unit attack, if this unit's attack is 13,000 or greater until the end of that battle, this unit gets Auto Vanguard. Choose two grade three cards from choose two grade three cards with dimensional robo and its card name from your hand and put them into your soul when this unit when this unit's attack 
Hits a Vanguard. You may pay the cost if you do search your deck for up to one Grade 3 card with Dimensional Robo in its name and ride that unit as Rest and Shuffle your deck. The reason I'm playing four copies of this card is I am playing it literally as a pressure card. That is all I'm doing. Because, guys, Die Magnum. He needs to be at 13. 9 and 4 is... 13. So if Die Heart is my Vanguard, I put him at 13 and then put a unit behind him for like a 7k boost, attack for 20. Even if I can't get his skill off, my opponent may perfect guard if they're at grade 1, so they don't have to deal with grade 3 a turn early. This literally is in there just to mind fuck with my opponent. Um, I built this deck literally just for consistency. Um, and I test played it, and it's doing exactly what I want it to. I'm going to be doing some more matches soon, guys, so you guys can see all these things. Um, but from what I'm testing, the, te the deck did very well. So four copies of Die Hard. And if you don't use him as a Vanguard, he's a 9K Vanguard. You can stick out there, or you can use him with Go Ganon to gain crits. For the last of the Grade Twos, we're playing three copies of Dimensional Robo Die Fighter, which is our 10K Vanilla. So nothing much to say about that, just for... And then we play, for our grade threes, we play three copies of Super Dimensional Robo Die Kaiser. This is our Dimensional Police Break Ride. Um, his ability is Limit Break. When a Dimensional Police unit rides this, you may pay the cost, if you do, um, which is Counter Blast 1. And the new Vanguard receives plus 10,000, plus 1 critical, and the ability. When this unit's drive check reveals a grade 3 Dimensional Police, choose one of your opponent's Guardians and retire it, and in the effects with cannot be hit is nullified. So it can pick shields out of your opponent's um, um, guard, out of their guard circle, and it can get rid of perfect guards. Such a good card, guys. This card is, again, just pressure. It makes your opponent question their moves. That's why it's in there. Two copies of Super Dimensional Robo Dayusha. This is the original Dayusha. His ability is at the beginning of the attack step. If this unit's attack is 14,000 power or greater, this unit gets plus one critical until the end of turn. This card you can get into the soul real easy using Go Cannon. So you do not have to ride this if you do not have to. If it's the only greed three you have, then yeah, you do. But um, you can uh, put it into the soul that way. And then for the rest of the Grade Threes, we play three copies of Dark Dimensional Robo Reverse Dayusha. So, very, it's one of the coolest looking reverse cards that there is. Um, his ability is Limit Break, Counter Blast 1, and choose two of your rear guards with Dimensional Robo in its card name and lock them. Your opponent's Vanguard gets minus 10,000 power until the end of that turn. So by counterblasting one and locking two of your own units, your opponent's Vanguard is going to lose 10,000 power, making it very easy for you to hit, and meaning they're going to have to drop more guards from their hand to guard it, or they're going to have to drop multiple perfect guards to get through the turn. Very, very good card. And then obviously, if a copy of Super Dimensional Robo Dayusha is in the soul, he receives plus 2,000 power, making him a 13k body. So this is my version of uh, Reverse Dayusha deck, going for consistency and just having a lot of potential threats there that your opponent is going to have to deal with, whether they choose to let the attacks hit and hope and pray that you're bluffing, or just to make them sweat. That's what this deck I built it to do, and I think it is a very good deck. I was able to test play some today at my locals, and it did very, very well, and I'm very pleased with it. So anyway, guys, in the comment section below, feel free to share your thoughts on the deck. Please tell me that you enjoyed the deck if you did, and you enjoyed the video. If there's something you wish I would have done in the video, please let me know that so I can make sure I do it for future videos. I want to make sure that you guys are enjoying the videos. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for deck profiles, discussions, matches, and random rants, and all kinds of fun things. So like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up the video for me, guys. I'd appreciate it, and thanks for watching.